The three-day-old Jerian hostage crisis involving captives from the U.S. and Europe has come to a violent end, according to French and Algerian news agency reports. According to France's Associated Foreign Press, the Algerian army launched the assault on the gas plant where hostages were being held Saturday morning, killing 11 terrorists. A security official says seven hostages also died in the attack. Sky News reports up to 10 British captives are still unaccounted for. The identity of the captors also remains unknown, though they've told the Algerian government this act is in response to the French intervention in neighboring Mali. In the past week, France has pounded North Mali with airstrikes meant to rout al-Qaeda-backed militants. French President Francois Hollande says there's a risk Islamists could set up a terrorist state on Europe's doorstep. The U.S. State Department identified one dead American hostage as Frederick Battaccio. Algerian authorities say the freed captives included two Americans, two Germans, and one Portuguese. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton spoke out about the crisis on Friday. ITV has it. This is an act of terror. The perpetrators are the terrorists. They are the ones who have taken hostage Algerians and others from around the world who were going about their daily business. The standoff has played out in a remote area of Algeria, 800 miles from the capital city of Algiers. Although the assault Saturday reportedly killed the vast majority of militant captors, the Washington Post reports a handful of captives are still unaccounted for. Government forces were still searching for smaller bands of militants and captives in the Warren-like facility fitted with a complex network of potentially explosive gas pipes. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs. Multiple sources, The Real Story.